nerds. It's a weekend full of nerds, and I'm all there for it. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Good morning, and happy July 29th. It's hot. I started, it's Saturday, but I started vlogging a little bit early because Emma is coming and I figured you might want, might want to say a little hi to Emma. I have some rocking chairs that were sent to me by a company that I'm, we're going to be putting together probably tomorrow for my porch. So we're going to do an unboxing over the, on, on that as well. But I had some eBay orders. So I'm going to pull those. This I paid 50 cents for at a garage sale. So I didn't know anything about this, but it is the New York Times. It's from 1978, and it is a large type weekly from Monday, February 20th, 1978, and it's all in Braille. There is a market for this kind of things. You may be like, and this is the kind of thing sometimes that people don't realize has value, but you can see what it sold for. I paid 50 cents for it, so that... That was a great, that was a great deal. And gosh darn, I've already forgotten what the other thing, oh, I know what it was. <laughs> it dawned on me now. Simpsons Jeopardy. My God, this has been listed forever. I'm glad it finally sold. But it, it has sold. It is complete. I think I paid $1.99 for it at Goodwill probably three years ago. But hey, it's its day to shine today. My God, it's still such a mess in here. I, I've got to do something about that. But today... Well, I'm going to get these shipped and I have my what I had a what not sale buyer's choice and I do everything in all these little baggies because um, that's just how I keep track of what the person has purchased. So I'll do my what not shipping today, that shipping today, I'll do that shipping right now and I'll wrote, go to the post office today. I, um, I also need to e start editing a video and I need to film some videos and I need to clean today. I got here at seven o'clock in the morning just to get an early start, but and I gotta, I gotta pull things for Tuesday's YouTube sale, so it's gonna be a day today. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be popping in while I'm at the shop today. I made my coffee at home from my Nespresso, which is like a little gift from God, and I'm gonna get started on all this shipping. Well, I got all of my whatnot shipping done, done, and I was asked um, to participate in a whatnot sponsored. Uh, sale on August 11th and I started started pulling things for it I don't know why I do the things that I do because I have other sales before that but I'm just like I'm gonna put them on the shelf so that's gonna be August 11th and it's gonna be like a groovy kind of thing so pulling some some cool little groovy groovy things so be on the lookout for that but as I was doing all of that I got notification that two more things on eBay sold. This guy, it, it does, I don't know if I have the batteries in it still or not. I might have taken the batteries out. Let's see. Yeah, I think I took the batteries out. It, it works. It's a it's a phone with M&Ms. These guys talk and they do all the kinds of things. But that's, oh, you can't even see. Good grief. I need to go to school about how to unzoom. And so did this. I did take a best offer. I've had this forever. It is from... Um, Manstique, Michigan. I used to actually hang this when the, when we had our when our brick and mortar was open. This I w every time we come in and work, I would I would change the date. This was never for sale when the shop was open, but I've listed it on eBay. It's been listed for about three years now, and it has finally sold. So those are going to go to their new homes. I'm going to take a trip to the post office. It's hot in here. I don't know what's going on. I think it's just the air conditioning is just like uh, I can't keep up. I kind of feel in that same way, but I'm going to get these shipped, go to the post office, I think. What time is it? Is the post office still open? Yeah. And then I'll come back and um, I get this stuff done. I'm kind of scatterbrained today. I really am. I think it's because this place is such a mess and I've got to get it cleaned up. I've got to work on getting it cleaned up, but I just keep saying, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I'll do that sale. I'll do, oh sure, I'll do that. I'll go there. And then I'm, I'm, I, it, I make myself go a little crazy but that's okay it's good to be busy right it's good to be busy i like being busy i really you do. know today i started my vlog a little bit earlier today because i have emma and colin here visiting today we'll see them here in a little bit oh there they are they are i was sent these chairs from lubona 
and for review. So while we're gone, we're gonna do a little bit of shopping today and Mark is gonna put them together. So there's two chairs in here and I have a link and you can save 15% if you use the link, but he's gonna get them set up. And when we get back, we will, uh, we'll see how they are, but I'm really excited. Thank you, Mark, for putting them together. Let's see, they're supposed to be like an aqua blue. <gasps> Look at how pretty! Look at how pretty! I love them, they're a rocking chair. So when we get back, he'll have them put together. Hello. So Misty is out shopping right now. She was sent two patio rocking chairs from Lubona su supplied these to her. They are a patio rocking chair. They are Aruba blue. And I, while she is out, I am going to try to put them together. So I've got everything taken out, taken out of the package. Um, everything was packed really nice. Um, there's actually not a whole lot of pieces. We have some instructions there, a small bag of hardware. The, what I'm guessing is the seat is already put together. The, the back of it is already put together. And it's made, it does have some wood texture to it, but it is a, I'm guessing a vinyl PVC. It's, it's not real wood, which is actually good. It won't rot, but it does have a real nice wood-like texture to it. And there is some hardware in the in the pieces but the nice thing is is that a lot of the hard work a lot of these kits don't come assembled at all you got to put together the slats and everything so this is partially put together which makes it should make it super easy so i'm gonna i'm gonna get it put together and hopefully do a time lapse so you guys can see how easy this is to put together <laughs> Okay, so the chair's done. I think it only took me probably about 15 minutes. It was fairly easy. The one thing I did like was there's only eight steps and each step is pretty easy. The nice thing is that your, your all of your hardware is, is uh, labeled, like here's FF. And then you just go to the bag that says FF. You've only got two, two things that you need is a, well, it comes with it, screwdriver and an Allen wrench. Um, the other thing I like is that all these stickers that come with it are super easy to pull off. They're not like some of the Ikea furniture and that sort of thing where it's just a pain in the butt to get off. So it's super easy. The other thing I like too is that this, of course, is some sort of plastic, but it's plastic all the way through. So this is blue all the way through. If it gets scuffed, if, if it gets chipped, whatever, it's going to be blue all the way through. So you're not going to see a big white nasty mark. So this should last us many, many years. And we're going to put them on the porch here in a little bit once I get the other one put together. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. And it's Monday. It's Monday, July 31st. Tomorrow's the first day of August. That's gone by really quickly. But today on the agenda, I have to do a little bit of organizing. I think I might go live on my main channel to open up some friend mail, which is something that I talked about in last week's vlog. I have everything ready for Tuesday's sale. I just have to move it over. Today we went live on for the virtual antique marketplace. Oh, this sold and these sold. Um, I'll show you. Let me put, move these over there. But I went live or Michael and I went live and I brought things over to what we call the stage. Well, that's just my table, but I, we, I could show things. So this is this sold. Um, it is Royal Ducks. You can always tell Royal Ducks has that pink triangle there on the bottom. Royal Ducks cat. These uh, Lipper and Man little uh, pear and apple shakers. I picked these up just because when we went to Kentucky because I just thought that they were really pretty cool. They're porcelain. They're very kind of really interesting the way that they've been made. Um, and then the green one does have a little bit of a boober on the tail, which I did note in the listing on VAMP. So those sold as well. I did sell some other things that I have to take to the post office. I will pop those things up on the screen. 
uh, those things that had sold yesterday. But what I was going to say is I got to move these things back over to their shelf because I kind of moved them over here thinking that I wanted to show people. I'm all, all honestly thinking about making a specific shelf because I have the eBay... I have an eBay shelf, but honestly, I probably will cross post some things anyway. So I'm just going to keep it all over on like my eBay shelf, but I have to move those things and then move these things. These are the things that I'm selling tomorrow during Tuesday's YouTube sale. Um, I did my reel and taken some pictures to do some advertising. I also sold, someone mess messaged me. Thank you so much. And I sold these uranium glass salt and pepper shakers so that someone messaged me about. Um, I have, it's funny, I bought three of these when we went to Kentucky. And I have one listed already on, on, on eBay. I'm going to take these home and wash them because they're a little grimy. I bought them and one of the reasons is because I already have this one over here listed on eBay right here. See, this one's much prettier because <laughs> it's clean. This is the anchor hawking the uh, rain flower. They're little candle votives. Um, so I'll take those three home and then I can just up my quantity. Now I can do a quantity of four instead of a quantity. Actually, I had a quantity of two, but I sold one. I have that one left. So now I have a quantity. So that's, that's, a, that's a no brainer. That's a no brainer to me because I already have the listing up. All right, I'm going to get these and the other things ready. I am getting things ready for a whatnot sale that's going to be on August 11th. It's going to be like a kind of a, groovy kind of vibey thing so these don't not these things but i've pulled some items that have that kind of a vibe uh over there to that's going to be sold on whatnot and i'll get y'all the information when i get it but um and i like this because just me being the way that i am and i like to be prepared so all, you know, whatnot, it's a whatnot sponsored event. So whatnot, it's like basically you're, it's by invitation only through whatnot to participate in the sale. And there are perimeters and I like that. I do. So they, I have to have at least 20, it's a, I have a two hour time slot and I have to have at least 20 items with pictures and descriptions a week before the sale. So I got to work, get working on that because the, the rule follower in me is like, okay, because they said, if you don't have those things done by this date, we're going to kick you off and replace you with somebody else. So I like that. I know that may seem extreme, but that's standards. And I like that. You have, it, it, what not is it's by invitation only. They are saying, Hey, we're going to put a, we're going to invest some time and some advertisement on you. We want you to be prepared and we want you to, to advertise your sale and get your, get your catalog started. I like that. And I might go live. I might do it today. I don't know. I might do it Wednesday on, on, uh, on VAMP, on the Virtual Antique Marketplace, because I want to try it out. Have a single pop-up sale. Even if I'm just selling like four or five things, it's a start. And it's, sometimes you just got to start. And so... I have a short week this week because Mark and I, so it's going to be a short vlog this week, which it's a good thing that I started early because it's going to be a short week because Mark and I are going to Gen Con this weekend. Yay! Gen Con in Indianapolis. It's full, basically a, a convention full of nerds and I'm one of them. So it is a convention for video game, not, not necessarily video game, but more like board game nerds. <laughs> so we're looking for, we're going to go, we'll be going with Todd and Cindy. We're going to go over there for a couple of days, spend the weekend with Emma. And I am sorry, I had full intention to get Emma on camera a little bit more, but I did not. She's fine with that because she doesn't really want to be on camera, but we had a had a time getting things set up uh, for before the live yesterday, and I thank God that girl was here this weekend because she is so good at figuring this technical stuff out, and she helped me tremendously. So, baby girl, I love you. Thank you so much for helping me. You're always mommy's little helper. When she was just a little baby girl, she'd say, "I'm your helper, girl, mama," and she sure she still is. She still is. She's still my little helper girl. And I love her. I wish she was with me all day. But she has to live far away from me. It is my dream to eventually be able to have the 
ability to hire her full time and have her, you know, do all my marketing and edit my videos. And that's like kind of both of our dreams a little bit. So hopefully one day, hopefully one day she can be my little helper girl. And like all of those things that she used to say when she was just a little baby will come true. <laughs> we can dream. All right, I got a lot to do today, so I'm going to get started. I sold Twitty City shot glass. That sold on eBay overnight, so I have to get this listed as well. But all of these, I'm going to get shipped right now. Well, I've already turned my lights out because I'm getting ready to go home. But I did list, I listed a lot of things on Virtual Antique Marketplace today, as well as eBay. All of these games listed on eBay, these things listed on Virtual Antique Marketplace, and this sold. I paid... I think $3 for this at a yard sale while we are, were in Kentucky and it sold for, I think, $43. So these little new in the box, the Destiny, the Mega Box, the Mega Construction, those things do sell pretty readily. And I just listed it today and it's already sold. So I'm going to get that shipped out in the morning. I'll lay it right here, but I'm getting ready to go home. Good morning, everybody, and happy August 1st. Golly, July just flew on by. Now it's August. I am on my way to Starbucks because it's Tuesday. And it's Starbucks Tuesday. Do you know what else? I'm going to get me a donut. <laughs> you know what I mean? Drinking water and losing a little bit of weight. But I'm going to get me a donut today. I am. I've been craving a donut. I was watching my buddy Ann Eckhart, her vlog this morning. And she stopped and got donuts. And I was like... I want a donut. So I'm gonna go to Magic Morning, um, our little local bakery here at, in Bedford and get me a donut. I am, I have a meeting with the team from VAMP, I think at 9.30 this morning. And then, it's either at nine or 9.30. I'll have to look at my calendar. And then it's a sale at one o'clock. Not having a what not sale today. Um, but I am having a whatnot sale on August 11th and I'm going to start getting things prepped for that. So I'm going to get those, that catalog going because tomorrow I have to ship and then, um, Thursday we're going to Gen Con and I'll be vlogging for my second channel, The Misty Show. So if you're interested in Gen Con, I'll be vlogging that on the, for The Misty Show. Hey, magic morning in Bedford. Best donuts. Best donuts. And they've got really good coffee too, by the way. Lovely cookies. I am going to get a croissant donut. Well, I'm at the shop. I got a donut. I haven't eaten it yet, but I have it. But I had a sale on Virtual Antique Marketplace. And I kind of, very, not very good. I put this big, oh, you can't even see. My God, Misty. There. There precariously have this all the way back here on the shelf. So that wasn't the smartest thing to do. That's the infant of Prague chalkware from 1941. Um, Mark and I didn't know who he was. We're not Catholic. <laughs> so um, we didn't know who he was, but we know now. So every time I see him or we, you might see us in the videos, who's that Mark? That's the infant of Prague. That is, he's a good one too. He's not been decapitated Sometimes they 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 get decapitated over the years, which is not. Oh, I don't like you sitting on there, infant of Prague. We'll put you right there. Uh, this Ellie Smith Simplicity compote sold. I'll stick the um, little sale thing right there to take a best offer. You can do best offers on Virtual Antique Marketplace, and the seller and buyer can, you know, go back and forth a little bit with the price for best offer. So that is an option on there as well. So I'm going to get this shipped out. There's my coffee. Got my donut. I got Jaden a donut. I got me a donut. He's not up yet, but he knows he's got a donut down here waiting on him. I'm going to get this out to its new home. Just finished with the YouTube live sale. I'll show you a little bit of behind the scenes of what happens afterwards. It's not very pretty. I put stuff on this table, but it's filled. So I just scoop my carts over there. These things didn't sell. So those are in timeout. 
Actually, I'm going to take pictures of them and put them on vamp. See if they sell over there. You're in timeout things. And then these are the things that sold. And on this cart, and I wheel it over. Oh, no. I wheel it over here. And I will ship them all tomorrow. Oh, I got to get it up on the carpet. I will ship them tomorrow. So we'll wheel them over here. So they're easily accessible. I'll put those over there. But um, I did sell two things on vamp today during my live sale uh one one i already took over there and one is this little dresden lace pretty she's in excellent condition she's sitting in her little chair she is stamped on the bottom and has her original foil sticker so she's going to get ready to go to her new home shipping on vamp is very very simple uh, all I have to do, the customer already has, they've already paid. They've already paid. So all I have to do is go into VAMP, put in the dimensions, um, and print off a label, and it's good to go. Um, and then this little QP sold as well. Uh, this actually, the QP actually sold via a magic comment on Instagram. And what that means is I posted it. I, I, Created a link through Virtual Antique Marketplace, and then I did, um, I, I shared it via Magic Commons, that's what it's called, onto Instagram. And the way that the programming works, um, I put a little bit of a description. Actually, most of the description's already pre-added in when you share the Magic Comment. You can add your own hashtags. Um, and then a person that's in Instagram that's seeing it as a static post, all they have to do is put claim. They put claim in and then they and then they automatically get a response. I don't put it in, the programming does. It automat it's from me, but the programming re replies to their comment for them to check their DM. They go in to check check their direct messages. They've already been sent an invoice. I can make the settings to what I want them to be and as a seller, the seller will be able to decide if they want the buyer to pay within an hour, within a day, within, you know, you could make those parameters. And then um, they paid, they're, they're sent an invoice. So maybe they're not even registered as a buyer on Virtual Antique Marketplace. Maybe they don't even know about Virtual Antique Marketplace yet. But anyway, they um, can They'll just, they enter in their, their payment information. Boom. I don't have to find their, I don't have to chase them down for information. I don't have to find them. I don't have to get their PayPal email. So if you are a static seller on Instagram specifically, go check, apply, be a member of Virtual Antique Marketplace. Apply to be a seller. We are asking that at first, we are going to bring in people that, that are sellers. That doesn't have to mean they have to have a major social media. Um, but while we're new and while we want to prevent there to be a lot of issues as far as someone not knowing how to ship something correctly and it gets broken. What we want to do eventually is bring on people who are just wanting to start their reselling journey or maybe they're new at selling glass and vintage and that sort of thing. I'm going to be able to go on and do tutorials live with them via a live chat. We can talk about shipping practices. I can do some demonstrations and that sort of thing that will all be included as part of your commissions that you'll be paying as far as a seller goes, which are 10%. So you're going to get a lot. You're going to get a lot for that. So that's the plan. It's not because we don't believe that anybody can do this. We don't want to open up the floodgates to just everybody yet. So when you are filling out your application, if you're interested in being a seller on there, go ahead and give us some examples of where you're selling at. Um, I would suggest that you don't just put in there I want to sell glass or I see people just say vintage. We want to know just a little bit more. That's not like necessarily a criteria. It's just giving us a little bit more information on who you are um, and that sort of thing. So it's not just keep it in mind because we have to have some perimeters at first so we can get to know this programming inside and outside before it, you know, gets ahead of us, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Michael and I are both very detail oriented and we want things to be a certain way before it gets ahead of us again, like I said. So 
anyway, I'm going to get those shipped out. Um, I'm going to shut down everything. I don't think I'll have to check eBay. I'll check eBay and see if I made a sale on eBay. But um, I have a different shirt on because <laughs> I had ink all over my shirt. So I had to change my shirt. I tend to do, I tend to keep an extra shirt around because I'm, I'm like that. I will spill things on myself. Uh, the day of a live sale that you don't want to do that. You want to not have stains all over your shirt. Anyway, um, and then I'm going to go home and make dinner. So I'm going to get this finished up. And tomorrow morning, I will come in here bright and early. I'm going to get here. I'm going to try to be here 630 in the morning is what I'm going to try to be here. So I can get started on the shipping because I really want to get started on my catalog for my whatnot sale on the 11th. And then Thursday morning, we leave for Gen Con. So I'm so excited. So I'm going to get all that stuff done and ready. And then I'm going to go home. Hello, everybody. And happy Wednesday, August the 2nd. I have to do my shipping today, which we talked about yesterday. But I got new glasses in from Lensmart. So I'm going to open up some glasses. Yeah, let's just do that now. Let's just do that now. Let's open up some glasses. <laughs> okay, there we are. Look at that. I got... You've seen that before, but little Amy, little meow meow, little Amy, you know, Amy made me that wreath last year, I think sometime. Okay. So lens mart, lens mart. I got to say, I placed this order and they came in less than two weeks. So lens mart. Also want to say, I do have a code in the video, in the description. If you want the code, you can send me an email if you can't find it. If you have a, a troubled time finding anything in the description, which you shouldn't, we went through that before. But if you are, just send me an email, thriftyjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I will send you the code where you can save 25% off. These are all prescription sunglasses. I have five pair here. Five pairs of glasses. Do I need any more glasses? No. No. But I wanted to do some, like, bold glasses. Do you know what I mean? Bold. Because it's good to be, to, it's good to be fun. It's good to have fun. It's good to have fun glasses. And if you, I, if you cannot wear contact lenses, if you can't wear contact lenses like me, I can't. I want to scratch my eyeballs out. I've tried. Glasses are a fun accessory. We can be fun and sassy and fun with our glasses. And Lensmart makes it very easy because they're not that very expensive. And with my code, you get 25% off your first purchase. So, let me take these Lensmark glasses off and try on my new ones. Ooh. Ooh. Well, first of all, let me start with the basics. With every gla pair of glasses, you get this little clam shell case. You get a cleansing cloth. They come in these little baggies, which I reuse. I'm not going to cut them open. Don't yell at me. I'll reuse those glasses. So, here are the first pair they have kind of a i think that's like a little bit of a floral print a little bit on there nice cat eye you can see here they've got a nice little gold wave there and gold i can already tell you that mark isn't going to like these because he's going to think i have angry eyebrows and now that's probably all you can see i like them though i do I do. I like them a lot. They're very lightweight. Um, sometimes I have to be very careful. And I'm not sure that I have, I don't remember if I've ordered any of these that have the little nose guard, but I do have lots of them that I've ordered from there that they do have like the little nose guard. I have a little nose. And so sometimes glasses will fall down from my face. But the nice thing about having multiple pairs of glasses is that you don't, they don't get stretched out. Because you're not wearing the same old pair every single day. I don't know which one I'm going to do next. So, pair number two. Oh, Mark's going to hate these two because these look like they're from the 80s. I like that, though. These are very much for fall. And I like that they have this, like, little cutout. See the little metal cutout there? Like a tortoise shell. They have gold accents. I'm trying to get more into gold. I think gold's good for fall. These are more rounded. I like these. I do. I like that little gold cut out there. I like. But like I said, these are all prescription sunglasses. No. Well, you can get prescription sunglasses. These are all prescription eyeglasses. They do have progressives. The price points are different. 
Um, they do run sales a lot, so check out lensmart.com. Ooh. Ooh. So these are also have like a little bit of a gold accent. Look at that like pink metallic. Uh, uh. I like these. It's kind of a pink, but it's also red. I like those. See, those are like, that's boom, flare. You walk into a room with these glasses on, people are going to notice you. All right, I've got two more pairs. This is, this is like Christmas. Ooh, these are a major cat eye. <gasps> and they're green for Halloween and Christmas. Look at that. It's like a metallic aqua blue teal. That's a major cat eye there. Wow. And I like, they also have gold accents and they've got like this little like tortoise shell green. Oh, I really like those. I want to say, though, too, is that when I was looking at the different styles, you know, like these two, there were different colorways. So there, I think that there was this in green as well, and probably these in pink and black. So they, they do have other options that you can get as far as colorways go. And I've worked with several glasses companies before. Hands down, Lensmart has been the most... Oh, wait! Hang on, I'll, let me finish that thought. Lensmart has been, they answer your emails right away. Their customer service is wonderful. So again, check them out. These have the little nose guards. And you can like push these in a little bit to adjust them on your nose. So that's good. That's a good thing for me because I got a little nose. I think these are going to be my favorite ones. Okay, first of all, these came with, now I don't think that I will, I don't think that I'll do these with that because that's a little, that's a little librarian-esque. With this, I'm going to have to open because I can't get with my scissors. So these glasses came with a little neck strap. You know, you put these on, put these little rubber things on the, the thing of the glasses and then, but I always need mine on. I don't ever take my glasses off when I wear them, so that will not be useful for me. These, look at the glitter. Look at that. So they are clear with silver glitter. <sighs> I think these are my favorite. I think these are my favorite. These are great because they are, they, they're, they're fun, they're spunky, they're sassy but they're not like obnoxious, you know, you could wear these and you may not walk into the room and people will notice you right away, but maybe you don't want that all the time. You know, I like these a lot. And you can see the difference between like with what I have on today, just wearing a subtle pair and then boom. Do you know what I mean? I like my lens mark glasses. I, I'm, uh, I'm obsessed if you will, I need to count all of my glasses, but the thing of it is you can use glasses as an accessory. They're very, very affordable through Lensmart. Have some fun and get some fun glasses. Get some fun glasses. And I thank you again to Lensmart for uh, allowing me to open these and do a little a little haul on my glasses. Again, check out the link in my description to save 25%, 25% off of your first pair of Lensmark glasses. Thank you, Lensmark. Well, I got my uh, spreadsheet done for today's shipping, but last night I sold two more things on Virtual Antique Marketplace. And... They were these little girls, these little shakers. Boop. Boop. These little chalkware girl shakers. Aren't they cute? And then the Fire King bowl. Boop. Little Fire King, I don't know, chili bowl. Sarah, I don't know, that's not big enough for chili for me, but it's more of a berry bowl. You can put your berries in that bowl and eat your berries. But I'm going to get these. Sent off today. The shipping is so simple. <laughs> I, I, it's just, 
it's great. We're, we're still working on some little nuances and stuff to make it even more streamlined for when we have other sellers come on. But um, I'm going to get these two little girls shipped out. Then I'm going to work on shipping all of those. Oh, you know what? I think I have an eBay. Gosh, I was just over here. I had an eBay sale overnight as well. I did on Monday. I was in here and I listed several games and such that I bought um, this past couple weeks. And I sold. I love to sell. I love buying. And I, love ga I love games. I love buying games. I love selling games. I love playing games. So these... Um, didn't have a lot of value individually, but I, I cannot resist an, a sealed game when I see it at the thrift store. I just can't. I just can't. I have to buy them. Um, they were 99 I think they were either $99 or $1.99 a piece. But I did sell the lot um, together. I just, I can't resist them. This one has been open, but it is complete. And like the little things on the inside haven't even been punched out. So it was like open box. So these were going to go be shipped off. They're like little, um, I guess, escape room games. But I can't, re I see something sealed and it's like a branded thing and it's like award winning. I, I, I can't, I can't resist. I have to do it. All right. I am going to, oh, I don't want to, I want to show you something real quick. Squirrel. I had this, now it had, I, I got it, it had it, Mark had to repair the tail. I've sold this same lamp before. Mark repaired the tail. He did a really good job. You can't even tell that it has been repaired, but it needed a shade. And this one's a little yellowed, but I think that it works. So when I sell it, I'm probably going to sell it. Well, I'll show it with the shade. And see if the buyer wants to buy it. I might put it on. Well, see things like this. I'd rather sell in a live sale. So I can like discuss. So what I might do is I might bring this over to my live sale on Monday on Vamp. I need to start laying out some things that I might want to bring over to auction. On my sale Monday. Like maybe these little sugared guys because I'm going to do an experiment I'm going to you know have my items that um, I already have listed that I can bring like onto stage and then I'm going to maybe bring over a few other little things um, and add it on as an auction so I don't know I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a couple things over it's not gonna be a real long sale because I just want to I'm just wanting I'm testing it out so I think I might bring over one two three four this little kitty cat how about one more thing one more thing how about we bring over mm -hmm, mm -hmm, these or yeah we'll bring these no let's bring over some cupies or some Irwin. How about I do like a little Irwin. An Irwin doll lot. Go. Wake up. Wake up. Go night night. Wake up. Go night night. Okay. I'm waking up. So these are all Irwin plastics. This one has the night night eyes. This one he's drinking his little bottle. He's a rattle. And then this little guy here. They're all Irwin plastics. He holds baby powder. He's a little baby powder guy. I've never really quite understood how you get the baby powder in it. Maybe he just sprinkles baby powder. He cut, came in baby powder, and then once he's out of baby powder, then you have to go buy a new one. Maybe that was it. I don't know. Um, I don't know if any of these other ones are Irwin. Let me look. I might just include them all, these little ones here. You are not, but I might as well just include these little... She's got no eyeballs. Her eyeballs are gone. I don't think they're Irwin. I got a little lollipop. Well, look at you, little baby Jeff. Jeff. I know. I don't got. I got my underpants. Oh no. I got front underpants. Or maybe. Maybe he just has a fupa. It's hiding his bits down there. But that looks a little creepy. But I think I might bring those things over on Monday sale. So I'm going to get this stuff ready. I've got a lot to do today. So I'm going to focus 
try, try to focus. And then I would like to get that stuff all ready and set up and bring it over here for when I have my, my live sale. So Monday, one o'clock Eastern over on virtual antique marketplace vamp. The link is in the description. You can join. It's for free. Once you join, you'll get notified that I'm going live when I do go live or when Michael goes live or whenever another seller goes live. And in order to purchase, you will need to register just like you do with your on e buying from eBay or buying from Amazon or buying from whatnot or buying, you know, you just need to go over and put all your information in if you're wanting to purchase. Now, if you just want to watch, you can watch. You don't have to, you know, you just have to join the marketplace for free and you don't have to put in your information, but you might want to because you might, maybe you want something at some point and you'll be prepared. All right, I'm going to go so I can get busy. Okay, all the shipping is done. Done. It's all over here. Um, those are people that have already paid. These I'm waiting on payment, but I had another sale on Virtual Antique Marketplace, otherwise known as VAMP. Um, and it was a chalkware pig. You. <laughs> Look at him, poor little feller. He's kind. Don't cry. You're going to your new home, buddy. It's a good, it's a good happy day. So we're going to get you all wrapped up, nice and comfy in a little box, and you can go to your new home. Actually, it's not, it was supposed to have been a piggy bank, but the neighbor screwed the thing out of his head. So he's just a little chalkware statue, Carnival Prize. We're going to get him ready to go. Happy Friday. What's the date today, Mark? It's Thursday, 8.33. Thursday, August 3rd. We are going to Gen Con today, but I had a couple orders I had to run in here and get before we left town. One of them is an eBay order. I did put my eBay store on away, so technically I don't have to ship this yet, but since I'm here, um, it is, oh, Misty, these. This whole lot of vintage Mickey Mouse watch. None of them work. They're all untested. Uh, they were, dad got them in a big auction lot. So those sold, it's dark in here because I don't feel like turning on. I don't feel like walking up there and turning on those lights. I can ship in the dark. And then over on the virtual antique marketplace, I had a couple sales overnight too. This little Beatrice Potter. This is the Bestwick one. Those are the ones that you want to look out for. The best, made in Bestwick, England, not the Royal Dalton ones. I think maybe some of the Royal Dalton ones have some value, but these are worth a little bit more. And this was the, oh, thank you, Mark. Thanks, Mark. This was the, this was the, the greatest thing. This little Hagen Renegar horse sold, I had it listed on eBay for a long, long time. I put it on Virtual Antique Marketplace, sold for $120. This little thing. So that's going to get wrapped. I'm going to lay you down so we don't want to break your little legs. Those are going to go to their new home. And we, I'm going to end the vlog. So thank you guys so much for following along this week. It's a little here, there, and everywhere. Um, I'm going to look forward to uh, being at Gen Con this weekend. I am going to be vlogging there. So if you want to watch that go make sure that you're subscribed to the misty show my second channel gen con is the largest tabletop gaming convention maybe i don't know if it's in the world but definitely in the country over fifty thousand people are going to be there it's going to be there's going to be cosplay there's going to be nerds it's a weekend full of nerds and i'm all there for it so um so if you want to watch that make sure that you are subscribed to my second channel mark do you have anything to say no nope. have a good weekend have a good, he's going to tell me to hurry up here in a minute. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget, I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to go over and subscribe. Also, don't forget about the virtual antique marketplace. Come on over and sign up. It's free. The link is in the description. And don't forget about the Boss Reseller Remix that's coming up in October. All of the details are down in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. The boys are following me around. I could make a music master, drop his fiddle, make a bald head, a man, part his hair in the